Welcome to Learn Yourself. Try this sum, page number 140, question number 1. In figure 7.14, lengths of sides of triangles are indicated. By applying SSS congruence rule, state which pair of triangles are congruent. In case of congruent triangles, write result in symbolic form. So, in previous examples, what we were doing is we were just proving the congruency and we were writing the congruence criteria. Here they have already given us the congruence criteria. As per that, we have to find out the congruency. So SSS suggests the side, side, sides. We have to check here that three congruent sides are there or not in this first numerical. So let us start with AB. So AB line segments is equal to PQ as they both have the length of 1.5 cm. Then BC is equals to QR as they both are having the length of 2.5 cm. Then AC is equals to PR as they both have 2.2 cm length. Now as per this, we can write that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle PQR as per SSS criteria. Second numerical. In this also we have to prove SSS congruence criteria as per the given detail. So here we are writing that in given triangles, let us check that what all sides are equal. So first I am taking DE side. So 3.2 centimeter is equals to MN side. So DE is equals to mn they both are 3.2 centimeter now second ef side is equals to ml side as they both are equal to 3 centimeter then the last one df side which is equal to ln side they both are equal to 3.5 centimeter now, to write the congruency between two triangles, the angle should be equal. Now, before that, we have to find out the correct name for second triangle because they are not exactly in corresponding with each other. 3.2 centimeter is here and 3.2 centimeter is here. Now, from the side, how can we write the correct name? So, first we are writing the triangle name as per anti-clockwise manner, DEF. Now we have to write the congruency for second triangle. So here, DE side. DE side's measure is 3.2 cm. And EF side measure is 3 cm. So we have to write the correct side similarly for the second triangle. So which side is 3.2? Here MN side is 3.2. MN side is 3.2 and here 3 cm. EF is 3 cm. So which is 3 cm? ML is 3 cm. ML. Now as you can see here, M is common for both the triangle. So M will come in the middle. As the E is coming into the middle, DE and EF, the similarly M will come into the middle and N will come at the first. So N the common vertices will come into the middle. So that is M and the last one is L. Now let us one more time we check that NM. What is the measure of NM? NM is 3.2. Yes. And ML. ML's measure is 3. So yes, this is the correct name for this congruency. The DEF triangle is in congruence with and ML. That is how we are going to write name from the side. From the angle it is very easy but from the side it is little tricky. You can follow this pattern and you can write it. Now here the criteria we are following is as per SSS criteria. Now here we can also write D is congruent with N, E is congruent with M, and F is congruent with L. Third numerical, we are proving SSS congruence rule. So in given triangles, now as per the figure, we can see that BC is 4 cm and PQ is 4 cm. 
then ac is 5 cm and pr is 5 cm but these two sides are not equal so this triangles are not congruent with each other but that we have to write step wise so let us write in given triangle bc is equals to pq as they both are 4 cm then the next one is ac is equals to pr as they both are 5 cm but ab is not equal to qr as they both are having different measures so that's why this both triangles are not congruent here we are proving sss congruence rule for fourth numerical so in given triangles ab is equals to ac as they both are having 3.5 cm measure then bd is equals to dc as they both are of 2.5 cm and ad's measure they have not given but ad is the common arm in between both the triangle so ad is equals to ad as it is common arm so here three sides are equal and that's why these two triangles are congruent with each other so triangle abd is in congruence with triangle adc as per sss criteria in figure 7.15 ab equals to ac and d is a midpoint of bc now they have said that ab is equals to ac and d is midpoint of bc so we have to answer three question the first question we are taking here is state three pairs of equal parts in triangle adb adb is this triangle and the other triangle is adc so in this two triangle we have to locate the equal part so in triangle b and in triangle adc what all equal parts are there ab is equals to ac why because it is already given in the question then second that bd will be equal to dc as the d is midpoint why is it so because we know that bc equals to bd plus dc and bd equals to dc because d is a midpoint now ad is equals to ad because ad is a common arm this is a common arm between this two triangle so it is a common arm so here as per sss criteria this two triangles are congruent with each other second question is now why these two are in congruence with each other because as per sss criteria these two triangles are in congruence with each other and what you will write for sss criteria the same reason that this three sides are equal to each other now we are taking third question that is angle b is equals to angle c yes or no and why so here angle b and angle c this we are proving with the help of whatever we have proved earlier that we know that triangle adb is in congruence with triangle adc that we have already proved in second question so as per this we can write that angle b is equals to angle c because they both are corresponding angle into this and what will be the reason for this because they are corresponding angles figure 7.16 ac is b is equals to bd and ad is equals to bc as shown into the figure these two sides are equal which of the following statement is meaningfully written so let us check the first statement let us check the first statement the triangle abc is in congruence with triangle a b and d so ab side is equals to ab side yes that is correct because they both are common here this side we are talking about so ab is equals to ab now second side we are taking that is bc is equal to bd so bc is equal to bd let us check into the figure 
So BC we are talking about this BC and the BD is this. So this two sides, this side and this side are not equal to each other. So this two are not equal. As per the congruency, this has to be equal, but it is not equal. Now let us check the third congruency. And as per the name, this congruency is AC is equal to AD. So AC, AD. Now let us check into the figure. So AC is this side and AD is this side. So these two sides are not equal again. So this statement is not meaningful as it is not pro proving the complete congruency. Now let us check the second statement. The triangle ABC is in congruence with triangle BAD. So as per the name, let us find out that whether they are congruent with each other or not. So first, AB is equal to BA. Yes, they both are common side AB and BA. So yes, they both are equal. Then second, BC and AD. So BC is equal to AD. Let us check into the figure. So BC is this and AD is this. Yes, it is already given into the question that they both are equal. Now the third congruency is AC is equal to BD. BD. Let us check into the figure. So AC is equals to BD. Yes, it is also given into the question that AC equals to BD. So it is given. So yes, all the three criterias are fulfilled here. So this statement is meaningful. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.